This very short video is to help you with the questions on the microscope practicals. So firstly, know how to use the microscope and the name of the microscope you used in the lab was a compound light microscope. So the correct name is a compound light microscope. Ensure that you can label the microscope and include all of these labels. Very important to know where they are on your diagram. Know the basic steps in using the microscope. So firstly, always start with the lowest power lens. Just click it or rotate it into position. Place your specimen on the stage with the cover slip facing upwards and you're looking through the ocular lens. So use the coarse focus wheel then to bring the sample up towards the objective lens. Adjust the light using the diaphragm or the iris diaphragm. Sharpen the image by turning the coarse focus wheel and you're continually looking through the ocular lens or the eyepiece and then use the fine focus to sharpen the picture. So remember, always start off with the lowest power lens, focus the sample and then draw your sketch with key labels. Click the higher power lens into position after this and then only use the fine focus to sharpen the image with the high power lenses. So only use the fine focus and use bullet points and specific labels when answering. So use key terminology like the parts of the microscope in your answers. Another part of the practical was to prepare and examine plant cells under the microscope and we chose onion cells. So firstly, a very thin section of onion tissue is applied to a glass slide. A drop of iodine, this is the stain, is applied to the cells using a pipette. A cover slip is applied using a mounted needle and this cover slip is lowered at an angle to avoid or to expel air bubbles. Our slides are prepared and we then view the onion cells under the light microscope. Remember that iodine was the stain that was applied and iodine stains the nucleus or the nuclei more than the cytoplasm. And you can see the little yellow dots in the picture here. These are all those yellow nuclei. It's also important to note that no chloroplasts will be visible in the onion cells, so don't draw them in on your diagrams. Another part of the practical was to prepare and examine animal cells and in this case we used cheek cells so we examined our cheek cells in the lab. So to get your cheek cells you rub the inside of your cheek with a cotton bud or a sterile swab, you smear this across the glass slide and you allow it to dry for a few minutes because you don't want the cells to be washed off. Apply a drop of methylene blue, this is the stain to the cells and then lower the cover slip at an angle. So when you view your cheek cells using the compound light microscope, the nucleus is the most darkly stained part. You can see it in the diagram here. You cannot see mitochondria and ribosomes. They are not visible because the magnification is not strong enough with this type of microscope. And finally, why use a cover slip? Why is this needed? Well, it's needed to prevent the sample from drying out, to keep the sample in position, and also to protect the lens from stain. So remember, this is a recap summary. It's only there to help you with revision. So make sure you do the exam questions the very best of luck.